Hello friends, welcome to my channel Electrical Master. This video I am going to explain about diesel generator maintenance, how to do in the industrial. If you are visiting my channel first time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Then you will never miss our updates. Let's go to the video. Diesel generator maintenance. Suppose if you are working in an industrial area, you will know how much important diesel generators. So in refineries, most of the process they are using the diesel generator for the day-to-day -day regular process. So we will see how diesel generator they are take care for uh, their maintenance. As per the IEC standard, diesel generator is really taking the maintenance every 400 running hours. Suppose uh, if the diesel generator is installed in the refineries, before we are taking the diesel generator maintenance, we need to take the permission from the plant in charge or controller. That normal process, usually the technician people, they are uh, obtaining the work permit from in a plant in charge or controller then they will start the DG maintenance process see this picture this is the sample of a work permit system so after obtain the work permit they're disconnecting the load from diesel generator and switch off the diesel generator from ATS panel in mostly plant diesel generator is controlled by the ATS panel see this is the ATS panel ATS panel means automatic transfer switch then after switch off the DG before start the generator maintenance we need to uh, note down the running hours last running hours displayed in the DG in controller panel so the first process is drain the engine oil from lube oil tank in DG so after 400 running hours the normally DG lube oil the color will be getting black so every 400 hours first process we need to take the lube oil from the lube oil tank and refill with the new lube oil the next step remove the oil filters and change it to new one so whenever uh, we are taking that uh, lube oil change that time we need to change the lube oil filter also see this is the lube oil filter so we remove that lube oil filter and change it to new one the next is clean the oil cleaner uh, oil cleaner actually this is the option one normally this uh, oil cleaner cleaning process every uh, thousand hour when the engine is uh, crossing the thousand hour that time the oil cleaner is should required for 400 hours maintenance that oil cleaner process is option only then refill the lube oil to dg oil tank and check the oil level is okay so once filter is changed we need to add the new lube oil to the oil tank and oil level should be checked with the level cage if it is found normal then it is okay next step is remove the fuel filter and water separator and change it to new ones see this picture this is the fuel filter and this is the water separator so these two filters we should remove and change it to new and one more thing whenever we are changing the fuel filters fuel line should be closed otherwise fuel will be chance to get it out the next step is remove the air filter and clean it see this picture this is the air filter so normally the air filter should taken out uh, it's uh, surround with the dust we use just the air blower to clean the air filter and refix it when the uh, total running hours if it is crossing more than 1000 that time we need to change that air filters for a uh, normal two services like 400 800 we can use the same air filters and next step is check the cooling fan bearings and uh, tightness of the drive belt so uh, that uh, drive end side there will be cooling fan is there that bearing should be checked bearings are okay and greasing levels are okay should be checked and drive belt should be checked tightness of the drive belt 
if it is found uh, uh, loose just make it tight next step is coolant level should be checked in the radiator tank if it is required add coolant to it the next step is battery terminal should clean and check the battery voltage and CCA rating and the battery is normal this DC battery is very important for DG startup so we need to uh, more focus on this uh, DG batteries with battery terminal should be always uh, clean and apply some grease to that uh, battery terminal and also check the battery voltages whether the batteries are good or not and CCA rating also we need to check the next step these are the uh, steps for the normal um, periodic maintenance of diesel generator then we start the generator with the manual mode and uh, run the digital generator for 15 minutes observe the DC parameter readings like uh, diesel generator speed pressure and voltages so those things are found it's normal then uh, check the any leakages from oil tank and uh, water separate water uh, coolant level everything should check in the first 15 minutes of manual startup everything found is normal then switch off the DG again go to the controller and close the work permit and start the DG from ATS panel in auto mode and connect the load to the supply so these are the normal uh, step we are taking in the diesel generator maintenance in uh, refineries and industrial areas I hope you will understand if you have any doubt please uh, write it in the comment if you really like this video please give a like and share this video to your friend circle and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you